So I really love that that they showed that part with a father being in a son's life really meant, you know, coming up in, in the world. Yeah. Boys in the Hood is actually a really good uh, father and son. St amongst all the bullshit, it's a really great father and son story. Most definitely. About a man who decides to take uh, charge and raise his son mm -hmm. amongst all the chaos of, yep. of South Central Los Angeles. Most, man, ridiculous chaos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the good thing is, it wasn't like the mama, uh, Angela Bassett's character was like a crackhead. No, man. no. Wasn't nothing wrong with her. Nope. She was just trying to get her life together. Oh, yeah. So that that was definitely. a good thing, too. That Most definitely. It, it, it wasn't like out of a tragedy. No, no, no. That was dope that, you know, the mom was like, you know, trying to get her ish together. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But, you know, and he was like, they were both straight up righteous parents. You know what I'm saying? Straight like up. she was arguing with the teacher, like, hey, don't don't call my son, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's stuff that black moms do. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you ain't yeah, gonna yeah. call my son no no hoodlum or whatever. He know what he doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I appreciate that part of the the parents. Like they were straight up, like didn't take no shit about their child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I yeah, when it comes to young Trey, they wasn't yeah, they was they not playing. playing. Right, right. <laughs> but the, the dope thing about that is that that and I remember when it first came out, I got teased. Everybody was like, "That's your parents, right?" Like, you came to little Chris. <laughs> hey, I don't believe fuck that, with man. Chris. I can tell the way you <laughs> move. That's that. That seems like that's how your parents. No, were, my man. parents were just like that. Like yeah. I remember, I was like a little chubby fat kid, like eight or nine years old, and it was this one dude on the block that kept fucking with me, right, mm -hmm. taking my lunch and shit like that. He was like fourteen or fifteen. My mama paid somebody is the same age as him to beat his ass. Get the fuck out of here. Little, yo. Oh, yeah, mom's wasn't playing. <laughs> she knew she couldn't touch him. She right. go to jail. My yeah, dad couldn't do nothing to him. Right. She paid another teenager to whoop wow. his ass in front of me. Wow. So I can see how serious this shit this is, is right. how she feel about me. Right. <laughs> like, That's what's so up, I already man. know how my mama was no joke and my mom was similar to Angela Bassett's character. Like when it came to little Chris, leave him alone. That's what's I got up. another story for you later. We're okay. gonna talk about that That's later. What's up. That's dope, man. But uh right now we talking about Boys in the Hood, 1991, uh Columbia Pictures, written and directed by John Singleton. Man, you know, rest R. in R. peace. Yes, yes. Man. Rest R. in R. peace. A great, great young at the time, very young black director out of South Central. Yeah. So he wasn't speaking out his ass when he was talking, no. telling these stories. No, He's it, from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the story <laughs> felt real as hell because, you Super know. Super real. Yeah, so that's how I knew. I was like, oh, you from L.A. for real? Because yeah. this, this feels real. Ever since I seen Boys in the Hood, I was like, can we get one director with a nice budget? You know, because I think this one, this one had a $5 million budget. Can we get something like that for the town? You know what? How many stories? Oh the my town goodness! Got? We got a bunch of them. Man. A million stories. Yeah, we got a bunch of them that need to be told. <laughs> <laughs> a million stories, not only of people that 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 are here to tell them, but we got stories of soldiers that have passed away that are amazing stories. You wouldn't amazing believe stories. some of the shit they went through, right? In the right. '80s, right. in the '90s, and over. Right. <laughs> nah, I believe that. Yeah. yeah. So. Ice Cube playing Doughboy, Doughboy Baker. Uh, Cuba Gooden Jr. is Trey Styles. Morris Chestnut is Ricky Baker. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne is Furious Styles. Uh, the beautiful uh, Nia Long is Brandy. Uh, Raymond Turner is Ferris. We'll get to Ferris later. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stand that motherfucker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Angela Bassett is Reva Devereaux. Uh. Uh, Tyra Farrell is Brenda Baker. And the budget was five point seven million, like I said, and it grossed fifty seven point five million at the box Ooh. office. So it did good numbers. Oh yeah, for nineteen ninety one, for a black film. Oh yeah, that was huge. That's huge, man. Come on, man. <laughs> that was huge. You, you, you grossed ten times more than you you yeah, spent on that. Yeah, yeah. And, and quiet is kept back then. They probably wasn't thinking it was gonna make no money anyway. No. You want to keep no. it real? Yeah. I feel like they might have just, uh, you know, just to pacify the black mm -hmm. community yeah. and let them go ahead and make this little black movie. Yeah. And when it don't do nothing, that's the excuse we're going to use for not letting them make another one. Yeah. But it blew up. It blew up. Yeah, man. <laughs> Got and you it another sparked deal. something. Mm -hmm. Got him another deal out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the Academy Awards, it got two nominations. I think it was Best Director and Best Screenplay, both oh, John Singleton. Sweet. You know, he didn't win, but 
A lot of it has to do with politics. Of young course. black man, he of in course. Hollywood, of you course. know. So. I mean, the, it was fresh black film, so you know they wasn't fresh. Give, you know they weren't giving us the accolades that fast. Yeah. <laughs> Not only had we as a black community had never seen nothing like that, yeah. they definitely never saw no nope. shit like this. No, no, <laughs> they never saw nothing no. like this. No, this movie's like a comet in the sky. Nobody ever saw nothing like this and didn't know how to process the success from it. Right. You know, but I, I feel like they were. There were a lot of positives, but the press kept pushing the negatives, of which course. was the shootings at of the course, theaters. Of course. Anybody got shot by a theater, it was Boys in the Hood fault. <laughs> it was like, Boys in the Hood, what are you playing at that theater? Why exactly. are you blaming it on right. that? <laughs> Man, it's a cold game, yo. It was a cold game back mm. then. But it did win a MTV Award, you know, back in the day for Best New Filmmaker, John Singleton, and it won an NAACP Award for Outstanding Motion Picture. It got it its got accolades. Mm -hmm. um, should have gotten more. Of course. Because as it's kind of like the Chronic album, the test of time showed how dope how that album that actually was. was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, from history that certain things should have gotten the recognition they should have gotten when it came out, but because of politics, politics yeah. stuff Most like that. Yeah. So he never really got it. But Boys in the Hood, we about to get into it. So opening scene, um, there's the Columbia uh, symbol of the statue. And then you hear some dudes getting into it. Shout out to DJ Pooh. I know that's DJ Pooh. Was that Poo. DJ Pooh? DJ Pooh voice who's like, Shout man, out to DJ where they at? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. From the very beginning, beginning somebody man. about to get smoked. Oh, man. That's, and when, I, <laughs> when that scene opened up, I was like, yo, man, that's, that's just how intense it be, yo. It was, intense, it caught man. me right off the back. It's so intense. Like, oh, shit, it's really starting off. They yeah. about to. Really? Oh, John wasn't no joke. John, yeah. we going to go right into yeah, it. Yeah, man. That was dope, man. <laughs> we going to get right into the so bullshit. Dope that, you know, he basically saying, overall, this is what, this is how it is. And oh, it's how it know, is. This is how it's it is. It's a quick decision. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a revenge and a get revenge, back yeah. fast. Mm -hmm. That's why they say it's a difference between gang members and gang bangers. Bangers is really, they about that action. They hunting. They really. Yeah. They really out there hunting. Yeah. yeah. And Respect. gang members is dudes who just be doing the dance mm -hmm. at the parties. And parties shit. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't really about, they ain't to really do about the yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> they're right. they're more or less affiliated. Mm -hmm. Maybe they brothers or uncles right. part of it. They might live in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. so they part of it. Right. But they ain't banging them. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they're not going to the malls banging on right. people. 